Salt Lake City is a nationally recognized city for the scenery, the proximity to national parks. Everywhere you look, there's mountains and lakes as far as like the culinary scene goes. What makes Utah really unique? We have a mix of all different types of food. We're not glued into one category. I'm Amanda McGraw. I live here in Salt Lake City, and I'm the chef for Copper Onion in downtown Salt Lake. I'm taking around Sarah Simmons, who's the chef of Birds and Bubbles. I haven't ever been out with someone that's from here, so it's fun to see it through someone else's perspective. It's okay. one of my favorite places in the whole world. I love it. Yeah, Deer Valley. After about a couple of hours of skiing, you can't miss the desserts, especially the cookies. Oh, good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what do you want to try? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At Deer Valley, we have three different lodges. The base lodge is at 7,200 feet, and then Empire is at 86, way up top. The altitude really messes with the recipes. You have to reduce leavening, reduce sugar, increase moisture a little bit. My favorite kind of cake. Well, this is what everybody's looking for. We're world famous for our cookies and our carrot cake. Let's talk about the cookies. I love chewy cookies like yeah, this. There we go. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's like the perfect amount of like crisp versus soft. We actually based the cookie in our bake shop in South Carolina on this cookie. I love it so much. I'll take the whole thing. <laughs> Hi Wes, right outside of Park City. It has the best variety of whiskeys made in Utah. Hi West Distillery is the first distillery in Utah since pre-prohibition days. It's gorgeous. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? We wanted it to look like an old mine shaft with a distillery inside it. It's so cool to see all the moving parts, to watch them bottling by hand. It's pretty spectacular. The Yippie Ki is my favorite. It's a blend of straight rye whiskeys finished in Syrah and vermouth barrels. It has more spice to it, more nuance. For a Southern gal, I'm really impressed with this lineup. Burns in the best way. This is one of my favorite places in Salt Lake. I come here about once a week. It's always really chill. And they do beers with different local ingredients. I'm drinking a nitro coffee stout. They use locally roasted coffee. We're always changing things up. Fisher was a historical Utah brand. One of the top dogs, Albert Fisher, was the original founder of this brand in 1884. The name has a ton of history. Can I try a couple? It's not intimidating, it's really relaxed. You can have a giant pint or a little sample. I've tried all of their beers. They're not super heavy and they're all really good. One thing I love about Eva is it's a small, intimate restaurant, and everything's a small plate, so you can easily share five or six plates. One of my favorites, it's just shaved Brussels sprouts with hazelnuts and brown butter. The acid is so nice in this dish. It's like a little slaw. We try really hard to keep our menu current, and we grow a lot of our produce in the summer. Utah has a great growing climate. It's dry and it's hot, so you can grow lots of tomatoes and peppers and all that really good produce. I love the yams because it is just so clean. This is like the ultimate comfort food. Yeah. As chefs, we travel for inspiration, and I can't think of a better place to be inspired. The land is so beautiful and the food is delicious. People that are from Utah really love to preserve the history and also move the state forward. You can really feel that excitement.